Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Last week I did a video on how to go into Windows 10 and download Rafis and make a live USB thumb drive with Linux Mint on it. But I didn't show how to boot into it from your hard drive. And then I went and did a video on how to install Linux Mint. So I'm kind of doing things out of order. So today I'm going to do a video on how to take your live thumb drive, your USB drive, and how to boot on it onto your hard drive. Now the only thing is, is that it's not going to be a great video because the only way I could figure out how to do it was to film it with my iPad, my Apple iPad. Now I've been uh, making videos since November. So I, this is a new, a relatively new YouTube channel. And all my videos are made with Linux. Sorry, all my videos are made with Linux. I make all the videos inside a Linux computer and I run all Linux software to make the videos, to record them, to edit them, to upload them, etc. So this is the first time I'm making a video with some other equipment. Now I'm still making the video with Linux. I'm going to be, uh, I recorded the video with my iPad and it's not a good video. I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to get the actual video into my Linux hard drive. And after all that, I'm re-recording it in Linux, in my Linux computer with all my Linux software and I'm editing it with Linux. So having said that, I apologize for the shoddiness of the video and for the rocking back and forth. Anyways, you'll see what I mean. So, I'm going to show you how to boot into your live USB thumb drive with Linux Mint on it. So, let's get to it. So, what, like I said, I used an iPad to film my computer. And on the computer, I was running Arch Linux on real physical hard drive and I had the thumb drive of Linux Mint plugged into it. So let's play that video that I recorded with my iPad. And like I said, I apologize for the rocking back and forth. So as you can see here, this is NeoFetch and I'm running Arch Linux. So now I'm gonna reboot into the thumb drive. So I'm typing in reboot in the terminal in my Arch Linux system in my Acer computer. Now this is an old computer. Uh, this computer I bought in 2011. And now it's rebooting. Now I'm just going to pause the video. Now the thing is, is that when you're doing this, you have to remember to do it very fast. So in most computers, or in my computer anyways, if you press F12 while it's booting, it will allow you to boot onto the thumb drive. We'll bring up the BIOS menu, and then you can choose to boot onto the thumb drive. Some computers you might have to press escape. Some you might have to press F1 or F2. On my computer, it's F12, and I think on a lot of computers, it's gonna be F12. Now the only thing is if you now the only thing is if you press the wrong button or if you're pressing the right button but you don't do it fast enough, it's going to boot into your system. It's going to boot into your Windows system or if you happen to have another Linux system on there, it's going to boot into that. It's going to boot into the system that's installed on your hard drive. So you have to push the right button. You have to know what button to push and you have to push it fast because if you don't push it fast and at the right time, it's just going to boot into the system that's installed on your computer. So let's continue with the video. So it's going to bring up a menu like this. I'm going to pause the video for a sec. So it's going to bring up a menu like this. Now this is my hard drive. 
and it's reading the BIOS is reading the USB drive that I have plugged into the computer and this USB drive I have plugged into the computer it has a live version of Linux Mint on it so then you use your arrows to go down to highlight the one you want click it and it will boot into it so let's continue with the video So you can see I'm using my arrows to highlight the drive that I want to boot into it. And then I hit enter. And now it's booting into the thumb drive with Linux Mint Cinnamon on it. And I actually brought up the menu and I have to hit it again. I can use my arrow keys to move up and down and then hit enter. And it's just going to take a moment and it's going to boot into the live USB thumb drive. And there it is. It's starting to boot into the Linux Mint live ISO that's on my thumb drive. And there it is. Voila. It's in the live USB version of Linux Mint. And if I just pause the video for a sec, so you can see here, if I click on this icon up here, it's going to start installing it onto my system. But if I don't want to install it on my system, I can play with it. I can play with it. You can see the start menu is in the bottom left hand corner is the start menu. And I can click on that. I can click on the terminal. I can click on Firefox. I will have internet access. I can click on the file manager. I can open up this and go into any of the programs that are installed by default in the system, which means I can go into the office program. I can go into any programs, the music program. I can play with it. And if it, I decide I don't like it, I can use the start menu to power off the system, shut down the system, pull out my thumb drive, and reboot the system and it will boot it back into my Windows system. No harm, no foul. And nothing will be lost, nothing will be damaged. And if I decide I want to install it, I just click on this icon and install it. So that's how you boot into a live version of an ISO on your thumb drive. And it would be the same for Arch Linux, MX Linux, Manjaro Linux, any other Linux. It will be the same. Now, the other thing we need to talk about is if your BIOS is on secure boot, you won't be able to boot into a live USB thumb drive. So in that case, when you're booting up, you're going to have to figure out which button to push. It could be F1, F2, F11, F12. On my computer, it's delete. If I want to get into the BIOS menu to change the BIOS settings, I have to press delete. And I have to press it at a certain moment, the right moment when it's booting up. And if I don't, then it's just going to boot into the installed system that's on the hard drive. Now, I've noticed on a few computers, it is delete. Delete is the button you push to get into the BIOS menu, but it might be different on your computer. And then once you're in the BIOS menu, you want to go and find the setting that says secure boot, and you want to turn it off. Now, on older BIOS, they, there is no secure boot setting. For instance, on my BIOS menu, because I bought this computer in 2010 or 2011. I think I bought this in 2011. But anyways, the BIOS, this particular BIOS doesn't have secure boot on it. And also, every BIOS looks different. For sure, the older BIOS look a lot different than the more newer and modern ones. They all don't look the same. So all the old ones don't look the same and all the modern ones don't look the same. So when you're booting up, you have to find out what button to push. Most likely it's delete, but it could be something else. You have to go into the BIOS menu. Then you're going to have to search around and look for secure boot. Make sure it's off or turn it off. And then you have to save the settings. So when you go out of your BIOS, you're going to have to save the settings. Then I would recommend shutting down the computer and then booting into 
your thumb drive and on my computer would be F12 to boot into it, to bring in the boot menu to choose whether to boot into the thumb drive or the installed hard drive. So I'm just going to play this video a little more. You can see the settings. I'm moving around in the settings. It probably would be in BIOS security features, although my BIOS doesn't have secure boot. It does have the ability to put a super Supervisor password in, but that's different than secure boot. Secure boot is off. See, I'm going a little wild here with the camera. So, uh, and I don't recommend putting a supervisor password on the BIOS, but that's another story. I'm not going to talk about that. So, what I would recommend is first try to boot onto your live USB thumb drive. And if it doesn't let you boot onto it because your computer is on secure boot, then go hit delete and go into the BIOS menu, reboot, hit delete, go into the BIOS menu. And you have to go around and look for the setting that says secure boot and turn it off. And then you have to save and exit the setup and then shut down and then try rebooting into it. So anyways, that's how you get into your boot menu. And of course, the way you maneuver around is with your arrow keys. Your arrow keys and your enter key would be the way that you maneuver around in it. And escape as well. You can see this BIOS is from 2010. So, in this video, I showed you how to boot your hard drive onto a live USB thumb drive with Linux Mint on it or any other Linux distribution on it. And I also showed you how to deal with the situation if your hard drive is on secure boot and it's stopping you from booting onto a thumb drive. I showed you how to get into the BIOS menu and how to search for secure boot and turn it off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am the Linux Mensch. It's so easy, it's so easy. It's